Oh, rock or gear? Oh yeah, I grab one yeah, too. We've been like Walker gearing the Devastator. It's pretty, it's pretty fun. fun. <laughs> oh, it's probably easier. So, uh, I'm gonna knock him over. Really powerful. Yeah. But he, uh, destroys it, right? With one of his attacks, I mean, he could yeah, probably... you only get like three melee attacks, but those three will do some damage. Alright. Sounds good. We're grabbing them now. Oh, yeah, you're both here. Mm. <laughs> Who's that, Pony Boy? I'm on live streaming, by the way. I think Pony Boy just messaged me. Pony Boy, you coming in? Use a fourth. He told me um, he just started uh, going after bosses and sub bosses. And I'm like, oh, so that means you finally actually started playing the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, there he goes. I oh, see he almost destroyed my my junk. Oh yeah, that does do a lot of damage. There you go. You need to get like a balance. Uh you know he would do worse to you if he had a chance. True. Oh, Oh, there we go. I'm down. Yeah, we killed him with the exploding walking <laughs> Oh, there yeah, we, we go. Oh, oh, wow, that did a ton, ton of damage. damage. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm not hurting any of these points. There we go. There we go. And he's done. Ooh, ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. The Devastators don't blow up. The geckos do, though. Well, he, started he started making, making a noise, noise. You know, like the mortar shell was about to explode. He started making that noise. That's how he's, how he's gonna blow up. <laughs> this game kind of, I was talking to Abyssa earlier. I was saying this game kind of reminds me of Dune. You ever read that book? You don't think? Every day it's out of Lovecraft or Dude or, or the other ones I forget. Mostly Lovecraft and those are my favorites. You love, you love, you love I love those. Those two are my favorite. But it's like a Dune. Dune's like masterfully written in the books. Oh, Lovecraft. Well, Dune was um the whole the per the man who wrote Dune um I think it was uh. I think his last name was Herbert or something, but he was a um, ambassador, a United States ambassador to Saudi Arabia during the, uh, the conflict in the Middle East, and a lot of the uh, terminology used in Dune was was a, d a, d uh, a direct reflection of uh, what was going on with the war in the Middle East, where it was over the gas and everything, and having to deal with. Uh, the inhabitants of that that region and and how the inhabitants had this like way of going to war that America never seen before like motherfuckers were hiding in sand pumping out of sand dunes and shit and shooting everyone <laughs> abracadabra you and shit <laughs> fucking guerrilla warfare at its finest yeah, yeah the Mujahideen I think when, when oh, he yeah, was around, yeah, yeah, yeah. when he was there, I think that's what they were dealing with before, you know, now we have ISIS and the yeah. Taliban, but before they were just a Mujahideen and they were uh, fighting Russia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he was an ambassador Yo, over there. Yeah. He was over there as an ambassador watching, you know, Russia getting picked apart by, you know, what what amounts to just like a bunch of farmers. 
with AK forty sevens. He's like sitting there watching that like damn. <laughs> and then we armed the farmers with like RPGs and a bunch of other shit. Yeah. And yep. They defeated the Russians. Yeah. And for for the most part, that's why um we couldn't take them in a in a straight up land war. We had to resort resort to uh drones and and bombings. You can't fight you can't fight people like that in a in a ground setting. Nah, you don't yeah, know the land as well as they do. They know the land and they could survive in the. I might, I might. Let me take a look. But on top of that, they're able to survive that harsh climate in the Middle East better than than our people can. Yeah, we'll all die. Oh, and do you want to do weekly? Or do you want to do the event one? Yeah, yeah, the event one is definitely the fun one. Alright, let's see if we can get out of here, but you're wasting a lot of ammo and stuff on the weekly. Yeah, I'm inviting as many people as I see on. At least Sion, I'm sort of keep trying to get him in. Oh, yeah. What are, they, what are we fighting? Heat wave? Oh, it's oh, clear. Cool. Yeah. Uh, Make sure you bring uh, anti-toxin if you get uh, poison gassed. Oh, dude, this is what I figured out. Um, look at your med med shit real quick. Um, mm -hmm. So antidote is for cured poison. Serum is for cured poison severe. Yeah. Make sure you have antidote and serum. Yeah. Is that, there actually is the two different kinds. I've never actually like read that. in. The, I've never used a serum before. Um, yeah, now we have it. <laughs> it's just over. Pretty much. Have to lie, lie down. down. Wait for the yeah, end. Yeah, just, just had to lie that one, lie that one out. Keep um, using med spray. I don't know if you want to cook that. Oh, here we go. We got Yeah. I feel like, I feel like people recognize us now because of that event we were playing with them. So when we see they get inv invitations, they know they're dealing with uh, people who know what oh, they're yeah, doing. You got the top ten. Yeah. yeah. I tried playing with some random dude. I tried playing with some randoms earlier, and I watched them uh, all get killed by a gecko. Oh my gosh! And I left. <laughs> I left. The second they were all dead, I just left. I was like, "Oh, you guys suck." <laughs> and I just, I yeah, I'm just like, "See you later." <laughs> I was like, all right. I feel bad about <laughs> doing that sometimes. But then most of the time, I'm like, I really don't feel that bad about it. <laughs> sometimes you have to. You have to. You have to know when when it's a uh, the endeavor is unfruitful. <laughs> when to pull out. Yeah. You're like, okay. Exactly. Okay. You can't you can't defend those who can't defend themselves. If they de exactly, that means they yeah. definitely can't defend you. <laughs> so exactly. that means they definitely ain't gonna help, be able to help you if, you if something happens to you. So you just might as well yeah. let nature run its course. Yeah. Survival of the fittest. They were all dressed as Raiden too, and it made me not want to dress as Raiden anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh no. <laughs> like all three of them. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, it's fire irons, right? right? I like, I like, uh. He accessorizes them. I'm not gonna shoot you, dude. I'm just looking. How he accessorizes the hair with the goggles. Yeah, I'm looking at Lone Swordsman.
I noticed that's what people were complaining about with um, the Death Stranding trailer. It looked too too uh, serene and peaceful, and I don't think people want to play a game like that. Well, I mean, like, once again, I mean, like this one did, but like the one before it, uh, which was the one where, like, yeah, they're just like surrounded, like taking out one at a time. So, yeah, that one was like, like it's weird how different different trailers are. Yeah. Uh, they, they can really show a completely different picture. This trailer didn't. This trailer didn't go over too well. Uh, the feeling I got with the audience there. I mean, it, it was, it was mostly, let's just look at these environments and, and watch normal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which, 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 which was a weird choice, um, yeah. but it was like, I think it was like eight minutes or something. Yeah. Um, it was eight minutes. It was basically like an eight minute touch scene. Um, yeah. it, was, it was definitely a light on the game play, uh, but they had some cool shit in there. Yeah. It's like that that's how people are though. People don't want people say they like peace and quiet, but I think people are too restless. Action, they wanna see action, they wanna see action. action. Yeah, they wanna yeah. see something go down. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> like you see that sometimes where people say they don't like violence or something, but you know, they'll sit there, pull out the popcorn when they watch people arguing about to get in a fist fight. They'll observe exactly. the shit. <laughs> They'll watch that shit all day. Like, ooh, it's getting saucy. <laughs> <laughs> Pull out the camera, start yelling, "World Star." Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not a violent person, by the It kind of bothered me too when uh, Hideo was ha he had that conversation with that woman. The woman kind of reminds me of a hippie, and she's like, "Yeah, I want to." <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? She's like, "Yeah, I want to have anything to do with this game." Oh my god! The woman, the woman, the the bionic woman actress from back in the '70s. She kind of reminds me of like one of those hippies that grew that grew up. But she's like, "Yeah, I didn't want to have anything to do with it if I thought the game was violent." And I'm like, shut wow. up. <laughs> like, shut up. <laughs> but, I mean, that, that's literally the point of games, is so you can do things that you can't actually do in real life. <laughs> yeah. Like, what do you, like, like, and I'm trying to wonder, like, what was she doing before she got this call from Hideo Kojima? Like, I didn't see her in a in fucking product in, like, since since the 70s. She actually has been uh, nothing, I, nothing I notice, but I think this one might be the more higher profile one she's involved with. It is really a yeah. Hey, Engel, what's good? What up? What up, Dooski? How's work? Uh, same work, you know? Yeah. Hopefully, this is, hopefully, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be you get any? You get any other people fired? No. Not only if you're being naughty. naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do no naughty shit. shit. You'll You'll get fired. Pretty much, yeah. Simple, huh? It's not a good look for a company with the manager chasing jailbait. Yeah, it's <laughs> a bad look. <laughs> I don't think anyone was. It's a bad, it's a bad <laughs> look. <laughs> it's a bad look. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's a bad look on anybody. anybody. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be that guy. You know what's worse? And I don't know if this ever happened to you, but like when a when a girl lies about her age, and everyone else knows her age but you. <laughs> oh, that's the worst feeling in the world. <laughs> Shit, that's what happened with me and my wife, man. She lied about her age, she, like said she was like 18, but she was like 16 going on to 17. And then like I went and met her parents. I went and met her parents, and they were like, "I'm not impressed." <laughs> I, was like, I was like, "What do you want?" <laughs> they told me what was up, but then I was like, "All right." <laughs> Wait till you graduate, then call me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, I don't want to go to jail. 
chicks do that shit, man. It's uh, it's scary. I hate that. It's scary. Well, it's scary. Now, now, Nowadays, nowadays, right, right now, now, like, like in the in the, in the, in the in these like few like, years, they changed the law. You have to be within like a couple years. Like, like if you guys went to school together, you know what I mean? Like if you were a senior, she was a sophomore. Or yeah, I'm like three years. Senior, like I'm three years yeah. older. I'm three years older. Not not like crazy older. Like if we we could have gone yeah. to high school together. But, the, it's yeah. called the um, Romeo, Romeo and Juliet law. Romeo and Juliet. Okay. So. Okay, okay. So those guys who were on How to Catch a Predator, a lot of those guys should be getting off the hook then. <laughs> Sometimes I feel... Like no, no, there were guys who were like 20 going after a 16-year-old and they were getting caught up in the investigation. You ever saw that? Uh, oh, you, guys have, you guys have to have like some kind of... Like you guys went to school with each other or... Uh, you know what I mean? Some kind of interaction. Like for the oh, yeah. two years. Those guys were like coming from out of state too. It was like... Ooh. And it's kind yeah, of crazy. Showing up, at, crazy. showing up at showing up showing up at her way. house. Showing up at her house at like three o'clock in the morning. With beer, beer and condoms. He <laughs> 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 never saw the one guy. He's like, I came to party. <laughs> like does party mean have sex with an underage girl? He's like, yeah, yes. Good, good. Possibilities. Oh, man. oh shit, there's someone right at the support digger, I think. Oh, crap, I brought the wrong machete. Wrong machete? Yeah, I brought my claim one. Uh -oh. Good. Oh, this is my shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's him. Oh, we have to be careful with the like, drop in the element so they won't die. Bombers. You gotta watch for the bombers. You gotta watch for the bombers. Okay. Yeah, I'm living off the right side. Half the left side. Yeah. I'm gonna bomb it before I'm gonna be fine. But you gotta worry about the other thing. But it's the one I like to do with it, I think. So funny, just watch them fall off. Like every once in a while, one will survive. Like, really? Really? What missions are you doing? Extremes? I know the uh, dailies. Uh, dailies. Oh, Engo, did you see the new season of um Luke Cage? Yeah, yeah I, saw I saw it. it. it I like, it. I like it. They had to have my dude doing voodoo out there in the streets. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, the dude oh. fighting Luke Cage was a uh, was a witch doctor. Uh, Mike, uh, what's his name? Oh, uh, I need to watch that. Um, like, I forget the guy's uh, name. I forget his name. I think um, oh, it's, they, they named it. They named it a judge. Uh, Bushmaster. 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 Yeah, you know that's a. You know what? You know what that name represents. Everyone Luke Cage fought is named after a snake. A bushmaster is a type of snake. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Like bushmaster. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then right when I heard that guy's name, I just, I just, I just, I just like, that shit was dope. dope. Remember last season he fought <laughs> Cottonmouth and, and uh, yeah. Copperhead? What was, was the other one? It wasn't oh, Copperhead. that makes sense now. Everyone Luke Cage fights is named after a snake. I know. Oh, like another season. thing. Another, Another thing, thing. Um, you, you, you know, okay, okay. You, know you know how, like, like the worlds, the worlds are, are kind of, of not really fully mixed, mixed but yeah. The, yeah. the worlds of the Marvel, like, like from Luke Cage to uh, the Avengers. Luke Cage is my uh, yeah. favorite, by the way, now. Like, I, I really, okay. I really liked that. That was, I think that's the best one they did. I, I, I wonder if they're going to interact, uh, Tony Stark into the, 
um, Mary, uh, what was her name? She died. That's the only thing. Like, that's the only thing that caught him. Okay, okay, that, that black, black chick, chick, I forgot what her name was, the one who was like fighting Luke Cage, that Luke Cage kept saving her. Um, she was the head drug dealer, or whatever. The black lady, the old oh, black lady. Oh, in the first season? Oh, she's still in the second season too, I like her. Yeah, she's, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, Spinning yeah. image of um, my aunt. Spoilers, yeah. so, sorry, spoilers, sorry, spoilers, but she dies. But the but thing the, is, oh, if you, you actually look at the Iron, Iron Man, First one, one, the first, first Iron Man, she's, she's in, in that, that movie. movie. And, and she's, she's the one who talks to Tony Stark about some black kid that died in the, um... No, no, no. no. Was, was, was the first one or the second? Third, it was, it was the Avengers. Yeah. It was the Avengers. She was in yeah, Avengers it's, it's, it's Age of Ultron. One. No, it's Avengers yeah. Age of Ultron. She, uh, well, approaches she, Iron um, Man. Yeah, she approaches Iron Man yeah. when he gets out of the, uh, elevator. After he gave that yeah. speech and he's, and he's like, yo... What if, yeah, 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 no, Winter, Winter Soldier. Netflix. No, I'm sorry. Oh, it was yeah. Winter Soldier. Civil War. Civil War. One of those. Yeah. Yeah. Civil and then War. He talks about like the black kid dying and what it did and blah blah blah. And I'm like, wait a minute. Like, how is that? Like, how is that? Then she had a son. Like, you know what I mean? Like, she might have. Yeah. Different, 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 it could have been two different characters, characters or like little twists. Well, technically, that woman, that woman. Really coordination between the movies. Yeah, and that, uh, but it would be. They could do it because the woman, the the black woman of the show, like she had a daughter. She don't tell anyone. She was very secretive woman. Yeah, yeah she, she was, was very, very secretive, secretive about, about her kids. kids. Now her, now her yeah. daughter is a. Uh, she's she's, she's a, a new character. character. She's gonna be the new character in uh, the next season. Uh, yeah. Uh, dream? No. If she has, if she, if she have, if she has a snake name, then she's definitely a villain. <laughs> that, that's the that's the the running gag with Luke Cage. Everyone, he's, well, technically in the Marvel universe, they called that the Serpent Society, and all these guys were named after snakes and shit. Yeah, boy, <laughs> get it, right, boy. I'm gonna slap this shit out of him. Uh. Uh, oh. <laughs> Oh, you're getting off. Oh, it's wild, man. It was acrobatic. I love the yeah, geckos. Boy. Oh, no. I love the geckos. I think they're really... They're they're <laughs> one of my favorite uh, enemies from Metal Gear. Yeah. I think I think if they want to make a complete game, they got to bring over the... um the, the things from Peace Walker. The ones that the, those machines that had those AI pods in them. Chrysalis. Yeah. Oh, Chrysalis was the best. Oh, Wasn't that the flying one? one? Yeah. There's a tank one. There's Pupa, Chrysalis, and Cocoon. Oh yeah. Cocoon. I think Chrysalis <laughs> would have been scarier. That I think the thing that would have they they should have done. With chrysalis to make it scarier is like like I know the chrysalis is made to kidnap people, but they should have brought the person like the person they the chrysalis would bring you to would be like Skullface instead of Strangelove. Skullface is like a ten times scarier guy to know who's gonna try to torture you than Strangelove. Strangelove didn't seem too intimidating. Skullface seems intimidating. Well, he was in. Uh... Ground Zero, but Phantom Pain not so much. Phantom Pain, he was like he was too too comedic in Phantom Pain. Ground Zeroes, he seemed scarier because it's like you know, you, freaking madman. You, you hear he's like it's, it's like he he acts calm and everything, but he kind of gets off on torturing people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, that's his thing is torturing people. you out if you want to oh ran off <laughs> yeah, I had to run back to mid spray <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> I had 104 health left <clears throat> my son's talking about he wants to see that new spider-man um into the 
into the darkness or the web? Spider what is verse. into the spider verse? Yeah, something into some shit. Yeah. Looks good. Yeah. Finally, like uh, Peter Parker's not a a fucking high school student. Actually, he's like a grown man now. Oh yeah, that's right. He's like the only person, the only person in any kind of story that never seems to age. Always keeping him in high yeah, school. Yeah, he's always so, a high school teacher. Ugh, such, such shit. <laughs> shit storytelling. <laughs> no progression at all. Hey, hey, uh, no, um, the other villain, uh, in the next season is the female. Um, her name's gonna be Nightshade. Yeah, that's a type of snake. He was, I like I like that actor they got for Bushmaster. But the thing with the Netflix is they have a tendency of killing, like, really good antagonists. They're running through antagonists too quickly. They, they need to stop killing them all. all I, you, you, can't, you can't, yeah, you can't, you can't tell a compelling story if you kill off all the antagonists. Like where would Batman be if he killed off the Joker? He wouldn't be Batman exactly. anymore. He'd have to retire. Yeah, no one, no, no one wouldn't be. It wouldn't be interesting anymore. Superman killed him. In one of the iterations, I'm talking about like the main iteration of Batman. They always bring Joker in. Without Joker, he might as well retire. Well, there's there's other people. None of them are like the Joker. <laughs> none, none of them yeah, are as yeah, compelling as the Joker. Has his, uh, special twist. He has a stranglehold over over everything in in, in Batman's world. It always it, all all of all of the really bad things that seem to happen in Batman is like a direct causation of Joker being involved. I remember back in the day, a lot of people thought that it was the Joker who killed uh, Batman's parents. Yeah, that was um he was the, Joker, the Tim Burton was the, the Tim Burton story, the Tim Burton uh, yeah. storyline had Joker had, had Jack Nicholson's Joker being a young man killing uh, Bruce Wayne's parents, and that's how they're interacting. That's why there can be a Joker without Batman. <laughs> yeah, they're they're essentially tied together, protagonist antagonist. It's it's the balance of any good form of storytelling. You need the you need a balance there. I thought the Venom, the Venom movie looks pretty interesting. I'm probably going to watch that. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I like, um, I think this guy's going to make a good Eddie Brock. I like him as Eddie Brock. <laughs> I think, oh. I think Venom is the first, um, it seems to be the first story where the antagonist and protagonist are the same person. <laughs> yeah, kinda is, yeah. <laughs> like, I, 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 I just I wish they would have interacted with Spider-Man and Brock hmm. or That's fine. It's fine. Let Venom be his own. Let Venom be his own man. I I think he I think he can he's good on his own. No, because you 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 no, no, the story with Venom, the storyline they're going with is separation anxiety. It was a comic series where Venom um, was dealing with this foundation called the New Life Foundation that were experimenting on symbiotes and putting them on people. Yeah, it's, but, in, the, it's in the comic. Venom can't have, Venom can't have spider abilities before. No, he, he can. The, the, symbiote, the symbiote can do whatever the user wants it to do. So all you would really need for a Venom symbiote to act like Spider-Man is someone to have seen Spider-Man. And he uh, has a of yeah. his he No, he doesn't. Thought that it had to be on the person. No, no, no. The like symbiote can do power. Okay, I'll put like the symbiote. Remember when you know who Carnage is? Yeah. Symbiote yeah. the symbiote didn't need to see someone do do those powers to get those powers. But it just he, he, he was a piece of Venom. Before no. he was a piece of Venom, he was a piece of Spider-Man. No, there are other there are other symbiotes there there are other symbiotes that, that have powers that weren't a part of Carnage or Venom. 
It's just whatever the user imagines the power to be. The the suit would the suit the suit does what the user wants it to do. Well, it's not even really a suit; it's a parasite. So, yeah. it being it being a par it being a parasite means it could pretty much do whatever. It's a cosmic parasite. <laughs> you know, they could, it, it was, I think it's, I think I rather like Venom being his own man than being tied to Spider-Man all the time. Venom is a cool character. Yeah, he is pretty dope. He's he pretty good. He has better powers than Spider-Man. Well, it's yeah, not. It's not. He doesn't have he does. the same. He doesn't have the same hang-ups as Spider-Man. Like I was just saying, Spider-Man is always a fucking high school student. With Venom, you could do some some other stories rather than you know, Peter Parker has a crush, and uh, <laughs> working at the Daily Beauty. You know what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> Got to go get eggs for Aunt May. You know, Venom could go. I wonder, Venom. I wonder if Eddie Brock is working for the day. Um, that nah, he's, he looks like a uh, he looks like um in the in what I'm getting from the 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 trailers that he's his own uh, he's just a journalist looking yeah. into the new life foundations experiments on uh, symbiotes. Here we go. I used to get so sick of that when shit shit with Spider Man. It was like, uh oh, someone kidnapped Mary Jane. <laughs> like every it's, fucking yeah. story. Oh no, he kidnapped Mary Jane. Mary like, dude, why Jane. does she? Like, why does she keep getting kidnapped, man? Don't you wear a mask? How do they know like you're dating this bitch all the time? Exactly. That's, that's that's a, a good, good question. question. How the fuck do they know you're dating? I'm always wondering that. How do they know? Yeah. Social she always. Media, man. She She's always getting. She fucking fighting me. <laughs> There's one thing that always bothered me with the movie, and the movies always did that. It was just like, oh, fucking Doc Ock, freaking Green Goblin kidnapped her, fucking Venom kidnapped her, Sandman kidnapped her. Like, damn, bitch. Well, the Green Goblin one, I can understand because he sees the cut on his arm or whatever. Yeah. In the, at least in the movie with Tobey Maguire, I don't know. Very that. underestimated uh, uh, villain, Green Goblin. Like literally, he, he puts it together quick. Like, holy oh, Spider-Man! Yeah. But everyone else, it was like, why did I don't understand? Why did Doc Ock kidnap fucking Mary Jane? There's no reason. <laughs> oh, he found out. He found no. out too. He was Spider-Man. Did he? When did, did Doc, when did again did he find it out? I can't remember. No, he found out after oh, he no, no, already. No. He found out after oh, he yeah. kidnapped Mary Jane, and yeah, he took right, his. Right, right, yeah, right, what the fuck right. was the purpose he of that? Himself. Yeah. He himself at the end. He's like Peter, and then he put it together right there. Yeah. yeah. Why the fuck did he kidnap oh. Mary Jane then? It's because <laughs> he knows that uh, Peter takes pictures of Spider-Man, so he's like, if he takes pictures of him all the time, he has to know who he is, so he's gonna yeah. call him. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what it was. But it seems to, yeah, but it, that yeah. still seems weird. Why would you broadcast you're gonna do something bad? Like, obviously, if yeah. you're kidnapping people, you're, you're telling everyone you're gonna do something bad and you want them to stay. Well, why don't you just do it while no one knows you're about to do it? I don't know, exactly. man. <laughs> it's fucking weird. You just turn on that generator like, without just, anybody knowing. It is, it is, no one knew where he was at. <laughs> no one knew where the fuck he was at. Spider Man chased him down because he kidnapped Mary Jane. And he was like, oh, you got Mary Jane, I got it. It's fucking weird. It's fucking weird. Why is everyone before they do something bad they kidnap Mary Jane? <laughs> Pretty much looks like an early warning, like, oh, somebody's about to do something. <laughs> Fucking, I would move if I was her. I would move, I would oh, get some plastic shirt, change my face, like shit. How many times have you been kidnapped by these guys? She wants to get kidnapped, she, she, she's addicted to it. She's uh, she's <laughs> olive oil. She's literally uh, olive oil, Popeye. Oh yeah, and Brutus. <laughs> yeah, olive oil getting kidnapped by Brutus. But even then, olive oil made sense there because like she was engaged to Brutus, so that's why he kept kidnapping her. Like, like bitch, you're supposed to marry me. <laughs> and she's like, nope, I'm marrying Popeye now. Oh, 
But damn, you go from a house to a garbage can? <laughs> That was, that's gross. Papa ate the fucking spinach raw. Like straight out the it's fucking can. Straight, <laughs> straight out of fucking <laughs> savage, dude. Are you serious? You know how like, gross and slimy that stuff is when I come uh, back like, It's that. just, it was on a shelf. You, you don't even check the expiration date or anything. He just fucking, <laughs> he just, just opens that, he just, he doesn't even open it. He squeezes it. He squeezes he it. it down. Could you imagine smelling that? Can you imagine a smell like pipe tobacco and spinach? That's what he fucking smells like. Get it gross. Exactly. <laughs> tobacco and spinach. <laughs> fucking violent too. Violent, stanky old sailor man. Probably smells like fish too. Shit. I can go ahead. Uh, we can, yeah, we need to keep getting killed. Oh, yeah. Alright. Isn't there supposed to be a, uh... Oh, what the hell hit me? Oh, gunner. I'll go after the gunners out here. Oh, I guess I Oh, uh, it's done. Oh, wait, never mind. What? What the heck? Yeah, it's not really a great angle. Well, I guess the missiles would be some good work, but... What happened? You can spawn in on, like, the other side as well. You can do both. Kind of weird, but that had to be nice. You know what's a good you know what's a good movie series? Like I like I think a lot of people don't remember or talk about much was Hellboy. Hellboy? Holy yeah, shit. Hellboy, Hellboy is fucking awesome. Yeah. Right, no, I saw the first one. I haven't seen the second one. Oh my god, uh Benicio, uh I think it's Benicio del Toro did did the uh costume design. It's fucking amazing. Oh, I love Del Toro. Practical effects. Shit looks real. Like, I like when they use the practical effects because it looks like you could reach out and touch it. Like, it has a texture yeah. to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. That shit is cool, man. I like that shit. I like how, like, uh, I guess when you use practical effects, like, you have to give characters dialogue. You just can't put a bunch of CGI on, on, on fucking film to distract people. Yeah. <laughs> like people have to talk to each other, <laughs> build dialogue, shit like that, flesh out the characters. Men in Black used to do that. Remember? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Those practical effects. Those were good.
love these freaking burk off rounds. No, they're not. Like you just mass produce them. Hey, did you notice for the uh, the trailer for Death Stranding, they used the same actor from um, the Resident Evil demo, the old Resident, Resident Evil 7 demo? Nope. The dude with the suit, I think, not, uh, they did that, like, walkthrough, like, abandoned house walkthrough. It's like three characters, and they're filming. It's it's part of the actual main game too, when the derelict house footage. I don't the know guy if you No, not the guy with the long hair. The guy with the suit, who's uh, like he's doing the the walkthrough of the house, and he's like in front of the camera. He's wearing a suit. He's complaining the whole time. A detonator. There's supposed to be a detonator around here somewhere. I'm probably going to blow up. I'm probably going to blow up. Sometimes they're in there. Oh, yeah. They trip over something. Die. Exploration, what did you send them out for? Ooh, I think I'm playing my copper and lead. Oh, yeah. the 200. I think they give you. No, it's like 100. Is it 200? I think it was 200. Yeah. And then there was one other thing as a third option or something. I can't remember what it was. Yeah. But I hate now, a lot of the missions now, they have a 100% uh, rate for you. You just lose all your stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what you call it? Wombat told me his people died. He sent them on one of those missions. Really? Yeah, and they were like fully stocked too. What the heck? Yeah, they you, they really like took it from like really easy to like extreme. Like. <laughs> I have these like three women I send out all the time for exploration team. None of them died yet. 
But I hear that is a thing. You can have them die on you, even if you fully stock them. It's kind of dumb, honestly. <laughs> Got my Charlie Angel Angels unit. <laughs> I just I need an S rank to develop. specific on how to increase your ranks because it's pretty much just hit and miss yeah I think it's just like uh, everyone in the team has to be like fully leveled up It's funny, I had uh, on my food supply team, like, I, I, uh, I had it so my base has a lot of women, and for some reason a lot of women are, uh, stationed in food supply. <laughs> it ain't oh my, my doing, but that was, like, the only thing they excelled at. I mean, hey, it's not your fault the game did it. <laughs> What's that Japanese shit? The comfort women. Yeah, exactly. You ever heard that? You ever heard that Japanese term, the, the comfort women? I think so. Yeah. They had those during uh, the war, t the war effort, where it was just like women who would like cook for you and fuck you, <laughs> even if you didn't know them. <laughs> if you were Japanese, <laughs> comfort women, <laughs> you just show up at their house, give them some money, they cook, they you get to, they bathe you, cook you, and fuck you. But I know it raises, um, it raises your, 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 I think that's another thing you need for S rank is everyone has to be happy. The, they have to be highly motivated. Like, you ever see that, that, that symbol? Like the blue? Yeah. The so, blue. Um, yeah. If, if they're not fully motivated, then yeah. Yeah, they need to be fully motivated in order to keep that. Yeah. Even if they are best, if they're not fully motivated, but they're down to good. So high food, you need food. Food motivates people. You need to have it so like you can take them out on a mission with you and just like they, put a bullet in their head. Yeah. Yeah. Put a <laughs> ne yeah, that next one should be uh, the uh, thing I'll just miss people. You need to be able to like take them to like uh, the outskirts of the map and just put a bullet in them. <laughs> yeah, just like, hey, uh, I, I dropped drop something over there. You want to go pick it up? Like, oh, oh sure. sure. Somebody bends out, pick it out, pick it up, so boom. <laughs> oh, the zombies got him. <laughs> yeah, it's like, fucking awful. Oh, where'd, where'd Jeff, Jeff go? go? Oh, oh, zombies, zombies got, got him. him. Like, oh well. Yeah, I really, I really tried to save him, but you know, those zombies, zombies were very determined to get him. <laughs> Man, that's one of those things. If it was a zombie apocalypse, I probably would go out myself. I'd be like, okay, no one follow me. <laughs> yeah, Everyone stay away. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Everyone stay away from me. I know I, know I, can, I can trust, trust myself. myself. I don't know about the rest of you. Yeah. Well, and unfortunately, more people that have more liability there is. Yeah, because you, it, it is, it, you would think, like, especially Walking Dead, I noticed that. It's like, They'll be walking and they'll be having these like long conversations 
like out where there's a bunch of zombies they'll be talking about some dumb shit too and I'm like yo dude fucking zombies out of here what are you guys doing exactly <laughs> oh that's a th yeah like like, like this chat is ever quiet we're fighting zombies right now and <laughs> No, no, if someone tells me if it was real life, though. You'd be quiet in a zombie apocalypse. Oh. That's exactly my friend, why you would not be grouping me in a zombie apocalypse. I'd be like, see you, Steve. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's different. It's different when you're having to, like, run around. We're playing a game. You would not be coming with me. I'd be like, sorry, dude. I'd probably, I'd probably be good on my own. <laughs> <laughs> Truthfully, I would think it wouldn't be. Maybe go find an underground bunk. That might be the best thing. I think it would be. I think it would be smarter not to 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 habitate in large groups during a zombie apocalypse. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, what up? Yeah. Exactly. Also, you have to be careful about having a lot of shit too. You would think just take what you can carry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I just saw the hot I don't know if I could ever just find a place and just settle down. I think I'd always want to run around. You'd be, I think the smartest thing to do during a zombie apocalypse would be you'd probably be in some, in some kind of wilderness wearing a ghillie suit. Yeah, stalking people. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> You would, it's either, either you're gonna be predator or prey, man. You have to choose right away. It's, it's gonna be one of those situations you're gonna have to be hidden. Constantly. Like, there's difference with The Walking Dead where, like, these people are fucking worried about relationships and setting up yeah, it's giant... Like, geez, people, setting up zombies. Setting up giant farming operations. They're like, dude, no. Dude, farming is like the whole world. It's gonna be hard. You're gonna need land. And you're gonna need to, um... There's plenty of land in the zombie apocalypse. The zombies run through it. Got to be stationary. Yeah, the zombies. The zombies are going to be running through the, through your land. They're going to be running through your land, and then and then you think the zombies aren't like a normal creature. Zombies, they are decaying, walking flesh. They come with diseases. But think about. But think about this too. Um, another thing that happens when you're dealing with roamers, not just any zombies, but any kind of animal that roams, is they bring mites with them. You ever heard of, of mites? They can eat your crop. Bacteria. Yeah. Yeah. There would be. Oh, and have you ever seen uh, the Evangelion, I yeah. Watch that. Yeah, I've seen it. It's a great one. Uh, so in, the, in, the, in that one, there's always, anytime you're outside, there's always like a deafening bug sound outside. Mm -hmm. And they actually mentioned that after like a of people die and like the event, um, mm -hmm. the bug population is just uncontrollable. Yeah. So the, the cicadas, or, you know, whatever those are, they're like really fucking, they're with those loud bugs. Like Locus. I've never like seen like another show or movie or anything that addressed that issue. Yeah. Like, totally wolves? You would be dealing with wolves? Yeah. Like, population would just be totally different in like oh. in years. Wolves are uh, uh, zombies. Yeah. You got all that decaying flesh. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Carrion birds, yeah, crows. Crazy beetles. Yeah. Like fucking. Oh. oh. Flesh-eating beetles, jeez. I don't want to fucking, that. fucking, just imagine, imagine wolves carrying some kind of mange, roaming around. It's gonna be nasty. It's gonna be, and that's the thing. Like you see with Walking Dead, that kind of bothers me. That they they touched on some, some somewhat with um 28 Days Later, is that their blood technically would be toxic to you. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. There'd be toxic. Yeah. There, there'd be toxic. You couldn't be around them for too long without getting sick.
That's why you see someone like Michonne. Uh, I think Michonne would. It does a lot for, for like the zombie camo, and I do yeah. think the zombie camo is like a really fun mechanic, and I want that to be in a game. Because I think I think the zombie mechanic shouldn't be putting the 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 gore on you, but maybe the skin, wearing like like a coat made of zombie skin, or like a, a hat made yeah. of zombie skin. Yeah, but, but you gotta like dry it out first. Yeah. So no, it's un Someone yeah. like Michonne. Uh, yeah, you've got like some, some zombie level. Yeah. I think Michonne mm -hmm. would die right away because oh she's God, yes. covered in gore constantly. It's disgusting. Right. Die from blood poisoning. She'd be breathing it in. Shit, no. They all have different rules. Yeah. Yeah. But 28 Days Later was really good. That was one of like the first um, things. Oh that yeah. Fast zombies. Things had everything had been like slow zombies for a while. Oh, oh dude, they fast were zombies. they were rabid. They were like rabid animals. They were they were rabid animals. Like Resident Evil was like the rage, but yeah. Resident Evil always has slow zombies. Yeah. And that kind of like changed changed the zombies to stage, you know. If there's ever fast zombies, you just screwed. It's it's, it's fast zombies that that their blood is toxic. Fast yeah, zombies. Toxic blood. That that's like the hardest. Twenty eight days later is yeah. like the fucking roughest zombie apocalypse so far. What would you? I don't even know what. You, you know what? You would have to be a uh, you would have to be knowing some kind of biochemical did, did genius. They, did they come? Did you come back if you die in 28 days later? No, you need no, you don't. You you need to be infected, but you, you it's easy. Like kill you, so you can't kill yourself. Yeah, it's it's easy to get infected though. But it, no, you could if you die, you're dead. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. You talk about animals can transmit a disease like that. All right, right, right. I think the smartest thing to do in some 28 Days Later shit is you gotta Mad Max it. You gotta armor proof a vehicle and drive that shit so fast down a desert. Just go straight to a fucking desert. Jeez, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the reason I say the reason I say desert and not not a jungle. I don't say a jungle. I don't say a frozen tundra. I say a desert because. You can use vehicles in a desert. You can you can yeah, armor exactly. shit. Yeah, you know what I mean? Screen. Jungles. You're you're walking on foot. Yeah. yeah. You know who you're gonna be. Yeah. Playing with a jungle, you have all the other actual animals from the jungle to worry about too. And they could, um... Exactly. And also, you're like, you gotta worry about animals, um, propagating the disease. Yeah. There's a ton of wildlife in there. Yeah. Animals can, can spread the disease. Yeah. I would be, I would do a road. I would be, a. Uh, I say Mad Max it. You're gonna have to be road warrior status. You're gonna have to armor proof a vehicle. And you have to be insane. Yeah, you might you might have to be insanely oh, territorial. <laughs> you would have to be a you would have to be a prick on the you would have to be insanely territorial because you don't know what the fuck these people are bringing with them. Hey, yeah, you'd have to Mad Max it up. I think it would be easy too to get your hands on web, especially in America. You can find armored vehicles in America. Uh, it would be easy to get the the armored vehicle I'm talking about here in America too, like the weapons oh, you would yeah. need to do that. Yeah. Shit. The first thing I would do, man, I would, I would hang out like in a, in like the metropolitan area, just by myself, up 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 on a building somewhere, and just wait for the police to die. <laughs> wow. Wait for spot. Just watch them die. I'll just watch them die and take their equipment. Just take their fucking equipment. <laughs> Smart, I guess. I'll just take their equipment. It just have to be mostly observation, watching people die and taking their shit. And leaving. Jeez. Open up a bag of Fritos and I'll launch here on top of a building. Hiding. And truthfully, for if you're surviving alone, all you would need is maybe um 
the ability to set up some kind of hydroponic, uh, hydroponic farm just for yourself. You know what I mean? That's easily sustained. Yeah, because honestly, in most of the shows, the biggest problem is because there's such a large group of people. Too many people. Too many people. It's 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 un it's unrealistic. It's unrealistic for that many people. To, they're not gonna work together. I don't care how many zombies there are. No, they're gonna. People are gonna act weird. Somebody's Especially, gonna get greedy. <laughs> it's not even that. They see that happen in the military sometimes, where they'll have like a uh, like a battalion of folks, men and women, and they they'll be beefing over, you know, OPP. Dumb stuff. Oh, other people's other people's pussy, other people's penises. They'll be exactly. <laughs> they'll be starting trouble over that shit. They're like, no, nah, I love her. If there's something you can yeah. fight about. People will do it. <laughs> people will fight over that that OPP. You down with OPP? Yeah, you know me. People be fighting over that shit, especially in a, a situation like that where, you know, you work, you fight, you survive, and then you get, you know, you might get a girlfriend, and like one week she's someone else's girlfriend, and that week she's someone else's. People will fight exactly. over that shit. People get people that happens in the military all the time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that shit happens a lot. It's crazy. Yeah, and if, it ha if it can happen right now while everything is like pretty much all right, it can definitely happen in a zombie apocalypse. Mm -hmm. People say that's what I say. People say they want peace, but their actions so different. Their actions prove the opposite. They say they want peace, but they actively do everything to undermine peace. They get restless, yeah. especially having that many people in one area together very close quarters, there'll be a restlessness there. There'll be a type of boredom that they would actively seek to undermine. See, they'll always seek to undermine the peace. Can it live like that? People are weird creatures, man. Yeah, not their natural state to be getting along. They'll find something to fight about. And it always seemed weird to me that Rick is uh, the the leader of their group because it really doesn't make sense to me. Rick doesn't seem like a real, it doesn't seem like the type you would see in that type of position. I think you would see someone a little yeah. bit more charismatic and sociopathic yeah. get that role. <laughs> Rick's not a very charismatic guy. I don't know how he got there. <laughs> he doesn't really give good speeches. Yeah, yeah I, like I kind of snicker when I hear him talk. <laughs> like Carl. <laughs> like every time he talks, I would be thinking that. Where's Carl? Yeah. So I saw like a British movie from like '95 where he was like using his like actual voice for like, like 30 years or whatever. Yeah. Oh, that's probably weird. It was really weird. Yeah. <laughs> is he more charismatic in his native tongue, or is this literally something that's just? Yeah. <laughs> Well, hold on, you know who's a good British guy who was on The Walking Dead show, who I thought was very believable in his role, was the guy they got to play the governor. Now, he was a charismatic guy. He, he gave, he spoke, he did public speaking well. And he does kind of strike me as someone who would rise to a role like that. He, he can be intimidating, but also on top of that, he can put people at ease with the way he talks to them. He's a sweet talker. Yeah. Hey, somebody, I thought someone calling Rex. I thought it was very telling. Do you never you ever notice that there's that one scene where there was that one scene where he intimidates Merle. Merle's talking about he wants to go look for his brother and, and fucking the, he's sitting there with the golf club, like he's like Tony Sopranoing him. 
That's what the governor reminded me of. He's reminded me of Tony Soprano. You see those kinds of guys in most situations rise up. I didn't do a boost. I didn't activate a new boost after the last event, man. I told you, I'm not, uh, <laughs> that's all I wanted. I don't have what I'm now. <laughs> Shit. Put a, well, yeah, I'll put this one because, you know, fuck that other shit. Weapons case? What, what is in the weapons case today for this event? I'll probably just keep the revolver and all that stuff. I don't think they have any of them. Mm. I'm taking a bong hit? What is huh? that? You didn't hear that? It sounds like someone was taking a bong hit or frying eggs. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh that noise. <laughs> okay, yeah, I take frying eggs or a bong, a bong hit. One of those, one of those, one of those things. I don't know. Could be both. Who knows? At Both the at the same time. time. <laughs> it, was, it was actually a thing. I'm oh. <laughs> Can we go either way on that one? Either way, let's see what this weapons case That needs to be on uh, 100,000 and here. What is that sound? <laughs> <laughs> That's a toe. <laughs> Oh, you say toe? That's that. That's that Cali shit. <laughs> they gave me a geist. What the fuck? Uh, that's, that's what I got, I got too. too. <laughs> <laughs> let's see what let's see let's see what it looks like. Let's see what specials it has. I don't have to craft it, do I? Weak point three, weapon stat boost, attack level one. Ew. Attack level one? Yeah. yeah. What the fuck is that? The one I have now has attack level three game. You're bullshitting me. <laughs> Don't bullshit me, game. Out of here with that weak shit. I never understand the guns with uh, the critical hit damage. Like, unless you're using Jaeger, it's kind of pointless because in this game, there's, you don't usually uh, get critical very often. 
You need to, uh, sometimes it's good to use the critical for a, um, uh, for a boss creature, like you, like you shoot, uh, Big Mouth's arm. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Things like that. Sometimes you could use it. Majority of the time it's useless. Useless. Useless, useless. <laughs> I like this M4 though. This seems like I would run within a zombie apocalypse. You would think another thing you would you another thing you would want to invest in in a zombie apocalypse is making napalm. They found them maybe um some kind Burn of magnesium. Them. Yeah, some kind of something like magnesium. Like I would have an armored vehicle, but I would shoot magnesium at other armored vehicles. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that would be not a fun way to go. I mean it, it, it's hopefully the magnesium would just um burn the uh, the metal pieces of the vehicle or just make the the vehicle undrivable and they'll leave yeah <laughs> they're like ah oh, fuck this guy hopefully if they're smart I, I don't want to burn, burn death. death no thanks yeah yeah burn your vehicle leave <laughs> And with hydroponics, like you can grow like like basic shit for yourself, you know. Hydroponics and maybe a fish farm. <laughs> yeah. What game are you playing? Oh, I'm playing over here. Oh, God. Okay. Right, yo, what you doing over there? Just working on getting better shit. Did you do a base? Did you do a base camp dig so you could, uh, craft your epics? Uh, no. Yeah, I need, uh, my, I need my base, my team development team. Okay. You can get epics from base camp digs too. Yeah, I yeah, know. But in order to build it, you need to have a. Um, your soldiers need to be uh, upgraded. Yeah. You should have a lot of um, ways of enhancing your crew by now, right? Yeah, I just. Uh, I just um, gave him like seven manuals. Okay. Seven, seven each? No, I just gave one guy seven manuals. Oh, okay. The guy that I know won't die? <laughs> You guys ready? No. Let's go. Oh, and both the other thing I don't understand about people in zombie apocalypse is, is uh, freaking getting people pregnant. That just seems like a bad idea. <laughs> well, you would need to, like, uh... Have to or what's the point? Yeah. Yeah, I know, but, like, there's a time and place for everything, you know? So shit happens, man. <laughs> shit happens. 
be fruitful and multiply as the commandment says in fact I would think you would want to have a lot of babies you'd have to go back to the old way of uh producing you'd have to mass have produce 12 because you know eight of them are gonna die yeah <laughs> yeah you'd have to go old school you're like every time i have kids they're twins all right this guy has to fuck everybody oh my god that's <laughs> that then that'll be inbreeding <laughs> hey you know this guy needs two babies two babies but they get eaten you need a guy who has good babies <laughs> You know what still upsets me to this day? And I had this happen when I was playing with randoms. Where, like, um, you would you would kill the- you'd be killing the boss, right? The boss is almost dead. And they'll leave, uh, they'll leave, like, diggers and support diggers unattended just to get- just to teat to- to steal your kill. <laughs> and oh, the digger would yeah. go down, and you're like, wait, what are you- It's like, bro, <laughs> what are you doing? No one's watching digger! What did you come over here for? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is he, like, was, really loud? What's his name? Is it, it, it sounds like Josh Sellers. Did you ever hear his five Oriental Dork theory? No. What was that? He was like, one day he's like, okay, I, I got a secret for you. <laughs> um, and he's like, I got a secret for you. Check this out. And he's like, okay, you know how we go on Oriental Storks in Afghanistan, right? Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah. And he's like, you know how there's four storks there, right? I'm like, yeah. No. He's like, did you know there's actually five storks there? I'm like, what do you mean? And I'm like, well, if you, he's like, if you hear all four storks, if you listen, you can still hear birds in the background music. And I'm like, wait a minute, so you've never even seen this fifth bird? <laughs> you just guessing? <laughs> you, you just think that it's you just heard it? Like, yeah, you should, he said this to me, he's like, you should go and check for it, so last, the next time you're, you're, you're hunting birds there, and I'm like, dude, you are hearing just the background soundtrack to the game. Ambience? It happened to have birds in it. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh my Did God. he ever tell you this story about how he's a registered sex offender? What? <laughs> what? I gotta hear he told this. Me this story. He told me this story that he was with his girlfriend was um he was dating his girlfriend and the parents got angry at him. And they sold him out to the cops, and like, I guess his his girlfriend was like under the age. Oh my god! <laughs> he... It could have. Yeah. It could have. I did. I did. He did tell me that his, his wife was much younger than him. But he got in trouble. <laughs> he got in trouble. I was like, damn. Jeez. That's always the story. But the difference. I think the difference. The thing about him. Yeah. I think the difference with, with me and my wife is her parents knew that she lied to me because <laughs> she had, they had the chat they had the chat wow. they pulled the chat. <laughs> I said he was really sad, but like we 
had Wombat and Josh Sellers in like the same party once. Mm -hmm. And we had like some new guests and like to guess Wombat was like in his twenties and Josh Sellers was seventeen. Wow. Isn't Josh Sellers you know, like older? Funny when you, you say, say that, that because, because that's he, what they sound like, right? Yeah. 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 Actually, if you, yeah, like if you had to guess which was younger, yeah, I'm pretty sure you would guess wait, Josh, Josh Sellers. Josh Sellers? Yeah. Oh, and wait. He, like, was old enough to like marry and impregnate some chick who was really young, so I don't know how old he actually is, but gotta be, he is, he is a lot older than he sounds. Yeah. Really? really? Yeah. I mean, that's, that's he's gotta be at least 25, right? Gotta be. No, no, his kid, no, dude, his kid is like 15. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah but it's not his kid. It's not his kid, though, right? He says that's his. That's, that's, oh, that's not his kid? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. No, I thought it was his kid. I don't know. Man. Nah, he says that's his. He told me that's his, his step his stepchild. But then how can his. He had, like, married his, like, wife when she was young if she already had a kid. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of conflicting facts right? there. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> someone, someone, who gave these people a baby? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dodge, dodge. 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 You must run to the body. Bop for babies. <laughs> but yeah, he's like, I was just about how his like, own son won't play survive with him. <laughs> his son, his son actually has a, his, uh, I'd say it's his, I think it's his stepson, his stepson sounds like he doesn't want to have anything to do with him. <laughs> I mean, I will, I can't, I'm just Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. I'm like a pretty fucked up family. Yeah, ask him about it. He was telling me a I didn't story. Know he was that old. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I mean, it sounds like he was teenager, though. Kind of acts like one too. <laughs> I remember he really got bent out of shape because you know, like I'm a like I, I I watch a lot of movies and like I I criticize a lot of movies. He got really upset. Like when I was criticizing movies, he was like, "You can't be that cynical when it comes to movies." I'm like, "I, I, I know I shouldn't, but I am. I can't not be. I can't not watch a movie and and, and have a judgment on it." Yeah, this is how I am. I just, mystery science theater guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God! Can you imagine if he had to watch mystery science theater. He probably couldn't. <laughs> I like watching the Mystery Science Theater where they're like uh, watching Gamora or something. <laughs> no, Gamora. I'm sorry, Gamora. <laughs> yeah, Gamora. Gamora. Oh, yeah. God. Who thought that was a good idea? Is that guy still alive? Who, uh, they have to be ancient now, those guys. Who are doing Mystery Science Theater. No, the founder of it is still alive, yeah. He is? Uh, I don't know how many, so, um, did you know the show, the show Comedians and Paris Getting Coffee? Yeah. Um, I think in the most recent season, either the most recent or second to most recent, um, they had, um, they said he was the creator of Mystery Science Theater. I don't know if he was a co-creator or the only one, um, but apparently he's been like long-time friends with Gary Seinfeld. Oh yeah. You know, you know who was a. Uh, you know who I, I always when I was younger, uh, a comedy show I like to watch. You ever heard of Doctor Katz? Oh, I love Doctor. Katz. I love Doctor Katz. He's he has MS I now. He has MS and they do a, a live stage show of that where they have the comedians come in and act like they're uh, seeing him as a psychiatrist. They do a live live version, of, live version of that show. It's great. 
show. Yeah. <laughs> they do the whole the whole the whole stand up. That guy's funny. That guy, uh, I always liked that. That's one of those shows, like, you can't, you can't, I don't know, man. That wouldn't translate well if they tried to show that, if they tried to show that on Adult Swim. I don't think that would translate well with that crowd. Yeah, it's a different kind of thing. Yeah. I actually used to watch it, like, as, like, the last thing I did before bed for, like, a while. Oh, yeah. Just because I found it really relaxing. Yeah. It's a shame now. He uh, he suffers from MS pretty bad now, Dr. Katz. I still call him Donnie. He's not a doctor. Just call him uh, Jonathan Katz. He's not a real doctor. But I always <laughs> still call him Dr. Katz. I, I, so I watched some of the DVD commentary also, and they, they did say that... Um, he did get interested in like the role after a while and so like by like the second season he had actually like researched and like I've maybe taken a class or two so he actually would know a little bit about psychology <laughs> he was pretending to be one. You know his receptionist, you know who his receptionist is related to, right? No. Sarah Silverman. Oh, it's like her sister? That's her sister, yeah, that's Sarah Silverman's sister. Yeah, I've never seen her in real life, so I don't know what she looks like, but that makes She looks she looks life. prettier than Sarah Silverman. She's she out of the two she's the pretty one. <laughs> right, I will Google Sarah Silverman's sister. Oh, what's her name? I got it. just look up uh Dr. Cat's IMDB. I think it's Laura Silverman is her name. Oh uh, yeah, I think you're right. Out of the two she's the pretty one. <laughs> I think I've seen this chicken stuff before, yeah, I know. You look at, I, like, I looked at it, I was like, oh, like, they don't look like sisters, I guess, uh, maybe they're half. <laughs> Sarah Silverman's a comedian, yes, correct. Oh, oh. oh fuck, I didn't see that. Okay, remember to kill. Do not kill. Yeah, kill, 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 kill. You know, getting this way is to be real, I'm kind of crazy, but I think that's what we're even talking about. I'm a zombie. Oh yeah, we're zombies. Dr. Katz and Dr. Katz and zombies. Yeah, Dr. Katz can't possibly enthrall us as much as a zombie cop, so I'm not really... Yeah. Oh I shit, he like jumped all the way over there. It was a great show. Did you ever watch home movies? I did, it's the same guy. Jonathan Katz on there too. He plays, uh, um, that girl's father. So, um... Brendan Small is like, you know, it's like the actual guy, his actual name is Brendan Small. Too. Yeah. Um, he is from Springfield, Illinois, which is like 20 miles away from where I grew up. Mm -hmm. um, and if you then assume that uh, home movies is basically about his life growing up in Springfield, Illinois, mm -hmm. then that movie is actually quite similar to my experience as well, or that show. Oh, yeah. So I realized that once, and I was like, oh, that's probably why I like that show so much. <laughs> it's it's my life. Oh, my God. You know what show I realized was really close to me? Fucking uh, Adventures of Pete and Pete. Set right there in North Jersey. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 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 I love that. I like that was a good one. That's cool. Um... <laughs> it was funny that... <laughs> it was funny when you realize... uh the woman who plays Pete's and Pete, Pete and Pete's mom used to do softcore porn. Not in the show, but in real life, yeah. <laughs> she used to do... <laughs> Frank, I think one of the, the movies she did was called Frankenstein Hooker. <laughs> you should see the woman, she's just, a, she's just like a little ginger lady. A little, little lady with red hair, older. Kinda looks like a mom, too. Even back then, when she was doing softcore porn. Looks like she could be someone's mother. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Whole genre out there. You gotta have some kind of gimmick if you wanna make it in the foreign industry. Yeah. yeah. Or like a niche. You gotta know your niche. Yeah. I think the wow, worst kind of point. I think the worst kind of porn is the porn that has production value behind it. <laughs> it's like, you can't, you can't look at it. I'm looking at it like it's a real film. It's like production value, like people look like they have their makeup in their head. Dude. No, like I want that, I want that, that, 
fucking point where it looks like it was made by like someone in a Kinda fucking ni Nissan raw Altima. Dog <laughs> <laughs> raw dog in a <laughs> Nissan Altima. That's that's my uh. shit right there. <laughs> 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 the porn where it gets interrupted because someone walks through the front door and they're like, shh, shh, shh. Oh my <laughs> That's my shit. I don't know about this production value they have nowadays. They got costumes and makeup. <laughs> the women look too pretty. I'm like, you're too pretty. You don't look. You look. You look like you fucking just uh, came out of a, a movie. Uh, fucking came out of a studio. You're performing for a live studio audience. No. <laughs> I want that chick with like uh her her hair up in one of those like <laughs> like like a hair tie or something, one of those things rolling rollers in her hair. Just got out the shower. <laughs> oh <my laughs> Shit that looks like it's in a uh, an office building at night. <laughs> They're not supposed to be there. <laughs> Can you hear a vacuum cleaner in the background? First there were zombies, then then doctor or something. Where we're not even a doctor. Doctor Cat. <laughs> Let's uh, agree. You never heard of Doctor Cats? No. We, uh, look it up, yeah. look it up. It's a really great show. It's one of the best. Uh, if you like, Se you like Seinfeld and Curb Your Enthusiasm. Oh, oh yeah. you'll like Doctor Katz. It's an animated show where Doctor Katz is a psychologist, and he has like real comedian feminine education. Yeah. Uh, so, oh. You yeah. Have like a sit down session with this dude, and it's like a therapy session. So it's just like comedians sometimes doing like their stand up bits, and sometimes like talking about their real life. Yeah, and they have a live action uh, show of that. It's not a live action show. It's just they they have a like a play they do. It's like a stand up comedy thing, but it's done in like make it look like done in a psychiatrist's office. And the guy, Doctor Katz, is so deadpan. He's funny as hell too, but he's so deadpan with his delivery. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. And it had uh, it's got each John Benjamin as a son. Oh yeah, John Benjamin. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, dude. He kept hitting on the receptionist. Yeah, dude. <laughs> they end up getting married. Uh, yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah. yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, they got married, dude. <laughs> like permanently or as a joke? Like their characters get um get married. I don't think I saw that. Episode. You ha it's not the episode. I'm telling you, there's a live action play where they just continue where the show left off. And it, it, it starts with with them. It starts with he proposed you it, on YouTube. On YouTube. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fucking got married, and and the, the thing is, she still has the same attitude towards him, where she acts like she can't stand him. Great show. Oh, What's going on? No, I just kept on slipping on that oil crap. Does Jonathan Benjamin do stand up? Cause I, cause I just know him from, from uh, Archer and Doctor Cat. I've only seen him in shows. Yeah, I just don't know. Wait, Wait who, 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 who does he voice? Archer. Archer, the the character Archer. He's Archer. Yeah, he's Archer. Oh, no, Doesn't he, 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 he do, do uh, Bob's Burger? Yeah, 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 yeah. He does. Yeah, he does. He does like lots of animation, all, all kinds. Of, like rarely does. He'll do like cameos every once in a while. He does have like, a, I would say that about him, he does have like a great voice for uh, that type of work. Yeah, for that type of work. Have you seen Wet Hot American Summer? No, I haven't. Is that, is that animated or is that uh... It's a, it's a live action movie about like kids going to summer camp. Oh, I have to check um, it out. And he is the voice of a can of canned vegetables. 
You know who's someone I'm surprised doesn't do more voiceover work that I thought totally shit is uh, Bobcat Goldthwait. Uh, this comedian back in the day, he used to do voices, but but like he's still alive. But he used to be, he had one of those weird voices. He was a comedian. I think he's probably on Doctor Cats too. One of the episodes. He was pretty big during that era. They had Winona Ryder. In one of the um, Dr. Katz episodes, and she was talking about her, her how her parents were like. The, it's a real story about her too. How her parents were in some kind of hippie commune. Her parents weird. Like some kind of cult, some kind of cult commune, and and they and she would have to like wake up four o'clock in the morning every day to like pray to the fucking earth and the sun. Something <laughs> <laughs> weird going weird. Madness. I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> yeah. Yeesh. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> and that they didn't have electricity and they would hear coyotes outside oh, of their yeah. cabin? Is it a ca It sounds like it's a cabin she's talking about, but it they Probably. You, you ever hear the noise coyotes make? Oh, it's, oh, it's, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, oh, it sounds yeah, like, yeah. it sounds demonic. It sounds like so. There's yeah. a demon. It's they're like scary. they're not actually yeah. dangerous. I know, but it just sounds it scary. It's jarring yeah. in the middle of the night. Foxes have a tendency to do that too. They say a fox sounds like like a woman screaming, bloody murder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that and freaking, freaking jaguars, jaguars and the freaking rainforest. <laughs> oh man, we have um, where I'm at here in, in in Florida, we have we have jaguars. Really? Yeah, we have jaguars in Florida. Bobcats, oh, jaguars, oh my gosh. gators, <laughs> pythons. Oh, we have that's these. That's I need to send you a picture. I need to send you this picture. Yeah, I've seen the gators here. I got pictures of them. But they have these. Um, these are they're they're a type of iguana with a orange head and an orange tail that are huge and poisonous, and they're not from here. What, what? And they're coming up from the Florida Everglades in the people's houses, oh, and uh, the governor comes in and is like, "Yeah, you gotta kill these things if you see them." <laughs> <laughs> like, open wow. season, if you see them, kill on sight. Wow! 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 What is this one? Nameplate Otisella yeah. Tavoya I don't even, Quata. Like, I played the game. I played for I have no idea what the fuck that is. It's some kind of cat. It looks like some kind of feline. Maybe a feline version of a... It looks yeah, Russian. It. it looks Russian. Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what I thought about. It. Russian I'm Ocelot? Really I'll buy it. it looks Maybe cool. it is an Ocelot. Ocelot. It could be. That's a good guess. It's a good guess. It's like a cat. cat. Buy everything. You know who else is a is a funny comedian? That I like watching on YouTube. You ever hear of this guy called Neil Hamburger? No. This guy shows up to a comedy club. He, he dresses like an old man. And he gets on the stage and starts calling everyone a rapist. He makes like a lot of these like crazy, like old crazy man accusations on people he doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> 
that nameplate you're talking about, mm -hmm. is it says it's for one of the PMCs in Metal Gear Solid 4, but I don't remember that, so it Me must either. be in like the Japanese version. It must be different. Cut uh -huh. content, maybe? Well, yeah, like I'm looking at a Metal Gear Wiki and it says it has, so what it's clawing off a lot in Russian is what it is. Mm -hmm. um, Flying yeah, that's what the translates to. Um, but it, yeah, it actually says it has a TV spot. I don't know if that TV spot is in the game, but it wasn't in the version that I played. Hmm. So I don't fucking understand that. <laughs> oh, there it is. It's in there. Weird. If you remember the commercial, that's like the two like flying people who are just like approaching each other but never actually like shoot. Oh yeah. Okay. It's that one, but you never actually encounter them in the game apparently. That was the first. I, I, I like I like Metal Gear Solid Four for that thing. I, I wish they would have done more shit in the other uh, Metal Gears with that type of premise where you, you get those little commercials. I thought the one was funny where it's like the woman is, um, the exercise nano machines. <laughs> yeah. uh, good old good old nano. Nano. Like people passing out in the background. Right. <laughs> you guys ready? You got, uh, oh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta open all my cases. cases. Oh, oh shit. He's gotta open, he's gotta open yeah. his cases. Okay. I guess that's fine. Twenty three point one ten nail. Yeah, I got tickets. Nice. Oh, I got that stuff. Are you doing the one again? Another one takes too much, uh, Crap. My guy, I look at the um, Metal Gear Survive Facebook page and it's like people have the Xbox version of this game. Like, there's no, I don't know anyone on Xbox who plays Metal Gear. Like, that community has yeah, to be yeah. fucking small. Yeah, I think the Xbox community is really small. Mm -hmm. That's all you see on the on the Twitter, on the social. What you call it, the social websites for this game? The online communities, the Xbox ones are always asking for people to play with them. Oh, oh I yeah. Fucking don't have an Xbox. Don't have. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> feed. Fucking greed, taking forever. I'm Two sorry, I was just sitting there buying cases. I didn't have time to sit there. Well, I guess, I guess that excuses it then if you just gonna do whatever you want, whenever you want. Now it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's You know what? There has to be something you could put on to avoid this poison gas rather than just getting infected and having to give yourself a serum. It's kind of right, ridiculous. Right. There should be something. There should be something you some kind of helmet you could put on and be able to use your gas mask. Well, yeah, Adam, who was saying that? Like, we have a gas mask. No, we just yeah, don't use it. <laughs> we just don't use it. <laughs> you have a gas mask on your purpose. Just you. You cannot put it on. No, that has to be something. That's ridiculous. I mean, 
you have, I've got like 1,500 antidotes, so being that I've never had to use them oh, yeah. before. Yeah. yeah. So it doesn't really matter. It kind of sucks you have to stop what you're doing, take the antidote, go back in the fight. <laughs> And I kind of, and I kind, I'm kind of nervous about uh, teleporting. Like you know, like I would teleport away from um, Big Mouth or Frostbite, but I'm afraid to teleport away from a Devastator or a Gecko. You know they're gonna follow you to fucking Digger. <laughs> ice, ice, baby. Dum, 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 dum. The hell am I hearing? Someone eating pussy loudly? <laughs> Someone eating pussy on mic? Where did you get that from? It sounds like it sounds like. Here. How do you eat pussy? Like, yeah, exactly. exactly. That's what I'm hearing. I'm... Do, you or, do you orate to your vaginas? Orate? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Give me... <laughs> like a, a oh, cat drinking you. milk. That's what I'm hearing. Uh, <laughs> that I did not. Oh, I thought oh, you were talking, talking about, about the first person talking. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all I heard. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's me. It sounded like someone was talking on my mic. I was watching something. They're talking about Gotham. That shit show. Uh, no. That shit show, yeah. Just... Yeah, that, that show is. I don't like the kid they got to play Bruce Wayne. That kid is scrawny oh. as fuck. Yeah. yeah. I look, I look, it looks like, like, I could punch him and kill him. <laughs> yeah, I feel like if I punched him, yeah. he would die. <laughs> Just break it down. <laughs> and I know I have to have a good punch. I've been carrying babies <laughs> for a long time. Yeah, that was just strong. You, you never, you never felt that? You know, that old man strength from carrying kids? Yeah. <laughs> Being a jungle gym for a bunch of kids. Cause I have my my son, but then I also have nephews and nieces and oh, cousins, yeah. and it's like the the they're it's just them with their mothers and shit, and I'm like the only like male figure <laughs> in the immediate oh, family yeah, they could pile them really off on. Yeah, like they're fucking teenagers. I'm fucking teenagers. Roughhousing with teenagers and then being a jungle gym for the younger ones. <laughs> see my fucking, you see my fucking nephews, man. They're all in the sports too. Every single oh, one of them. Track and field and football. I still fuck them up. I don't care. I'll beat up a teenager. I have no problems with that. Uh I'm <laughs> 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 fucking teenager, I don't care. Hey, yeah, you have to. You have to. Well, 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 I think it's, I think it's, I think it's, uh, it's common knowledge. It's, it's common. I, you have to. I, I, I sometimes I get, um, I remember I took my wife and my son to the store up the street here, and there's these, uh, these teenagers in there, and they were just, um, giving the woman behind the counter. I like just making fun of the woman behind the counter. And like the old man came out of me, like I had old man rage. And it got oh, up in their shit. face, was pushing them out the store. <laughs> <laughs> like he stopped what I was they doing for his. It's it's weird. It's like I like I caught myself. I was like, holy shit! I just really acted like old men I knew when I was that age. <laughs> Yeah, you, yeah, always, you tell always tell yourself, yourself like, I'm not gonna be like that. Assaulting someone with a cane. Fucking <laughs> 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 happens. It's surprising you get caught off guard.
I'm underneath him. I'm underneath the uh, big mouth. <laughs> With my hammer. Put my hand from the ball. So. Yeah, it's all up in the ball. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happened? What happened? What happened? Well, 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 they must have come from the Irish area. Oh. Uh, they were on the opposite side of the digger, also. Oh. Who they are? Take care of him. I got him. Yeah. I got these guys. Oh. Oh shit. What the hell? What does it sound like? Oh, I know you're talking about. I think that happens if a tree gets knocked over. It's a really weird sound. I know you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna fly. It's when, like, stuff is getting crushed, it could be, like, a box or a wooden thing. Uh -huh. Wooden thing being crushed. Mm -hmm. But it's, yeah, it's a really weird kind of thing. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Yeah. Fuck, where did he, where did the gecko spawn in from this angle? I forget. I might not have actually played this side yet. Yeah, me neither. Oh. I would might be the first time. I don't know. I'm guessing I'm here. Guessing he'll be like out yeah, right where you're at. That's my guess too. Yeah. Cause some of these spawns are literally like right over the support digger. Yeah. yeah. He better, he better not spawn. spawn. That would be a. That would be pretty. That would be very problematic because he could just like kick that thing a couple times and it's dead. Yeah, yeah, it'd be be over. over. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's alright. I can RPI in the fucking head. Mm. Right, 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 right. I'll be I'll be above him so I can RPI him from above. Mm. Oh, nice. Not last long. Um, but no, I'm pretty sure he'll be by Steve. Um. I'm ready to go for it. Damn, dude, just in case. Let's go! Lone's two lone... Two lone swordsmen. Why is it two, lo two lone swordsmen? Is that two people on one account? No, yeah, I mean... Two lone yeah, swordsmen. Yeah, one lone swordsman would make more sense. Um, mm -hmm. it makes more sense than Brilliant Flight, though, if you think about it. Yeah. Brilliant Flight. <laughs> Brilliant. The guy who's, like, number one all the time. The guy who got number one in the event, his name is Brilliant Flight. Yeah, you can be pretty sure he's a... No one knows, uh, no, one, no one met him before. No, like, when I, when I hear two lone swordsmen, I think, um... Like the scene in Kill Bill where it's like the two samurais silhouetted against the uh, yeah, yeah. Um, screen. But the uh, yeah, but it's the like, it's like a, it's two people showing down. Is what it is. But there was on um, the the lone swordsman and cub was the actual uh, the, right. the movie franchise, which I think he's referencing. I'm not sure. Right. Yeah. 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 Wow. Oh, I'm I'm dropping drop that. that. Yeah, they're going a weird way. Why are you out here? My bed, my bed. 
Oh, oh, shoot, shoot. Oh, man. Okay, he's up there. Yeah, he's up there. We're good. Let's kill that one dude, I'd say. Let's kill this bomber. Oh, I need to make things. Nice. You just killed me. Uh, uh me, me. Oh yeah. Oh sweet. Someone. Yeah. I didn't even realize you were a medic. Person. You know who's a really good yeah. medic on some real shit? You you play with uh C C Lo C -Lo Get the guy's name. Yeah, I don't I'm not actually friends with that guy, but I've played with him a bunch. Yeah, he's a really good guy. Yeah. He's good. Good. Yeah. Fun to play with. I know this when I, whenever I'm playing with him, I, I, I don't go through uh, health sprays as much. <laughs> yeah, I've still actually never really done like medic class, so I, I was just thinking, so I should need to start doing that. Mm. Yeah. But obviously not right now. Mm. Oh man, Jaeger's fucking good. Jaeger's yeah, really yeah. good. Gotta be, be a, a fast, fast boy. Sprint around. Yeah, taking everyone down with the with the arrows. No, I, 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 I like this like mimic class because, because uh, uh, I didn't know this, but some uh, gloves, gloves can have, can have like, like uh, the, the vitality, vitality on, on them. them. Mm-hmm. And, and, uh, chest is a shooter, shooter's shooter vest, and it has a level, level 4 life vitality. vitality. So, so I max out like, like 7,200. No oh, shit. What, what, wait, hold on, what does yeah, vitality so do? The, um, yeah, someone told me, um, the key to medic is to you max out your health with vitality. Um, and then, um, what's the ability that, um, is what happens to you use when you're at low health? Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, oh, spark, spark something, something. Yeah, what does it do? It like gives you more, more attack, attack power and, uh, and uh, damage. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's the key. If you use that when you're low on health, but because you have so much health, you still have a fair amount of health. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, um, yeah, because of that, you can just be the speed. I do that. Yeah, I do that. Yeah, I do that. Oh fuck yeah, we've been uh, killing the whole time. No, it's, no, it's fine. fine. Yeah, we're, 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 we're at 9 I, I had to check, because at least I was talking about the actual game of the time. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're fine. We have like 9 k Oh yeah, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be good. Oh yeah, you're right. Good Shit, talk. where do they, uh... What do you think he spawns in now? Yeah, so now I have no... So now I guess it's the far one. The like, uh, far north. Left one, yeah. northwest one, up in that corner. It could be the other corner though. But he usually spawns in the corner. So my yeah, my my mother's on that. Yeah. If not, we just have to run over the other one and catch him before mm -hmm. he gets spread out to the four there. corners. They got where he's coming from. No, I'm pretty confident he'll be right there.
I am based still. The other thing I noticed, they still haven't added a freaking ponytail for hair options. The what? The ponytail. I'm fan of Yeah, the fucking the inflatable snake decoy that has longer hair than my female character. Exactly. I'm like, come on, the longer hair is It is kind of weird, right? Oh, that confused me too. And fucking, um, your crew members can have ponytails. Exactly. exactly. You know. <laughs> Shit, he is right? jumping the fuck away whoa, from me. Jeez, whoa. Oh, no. How is he? Where the fuck is he going? Where is like he? He went right past me. And I'm not even seeing him jump. He's kind of just lagging, and I'm the fucking... He guy. went He went to the top. He went, he's, a top he's on now top he's of it. he's going over here. Yeah, Sorcerer's got his attention. We're good. Shit. I don't like that shit. He fucking just, yeah. he, he covers way too yeah, far distance. That's fucking how Gecko is though, man. Yeah. yeah. They fucking just... The fucking nightmare fuel. The the fucking nightmare <laughs> fuel. <laughs> thing just jumps. Yeah, get that. We got him. Yeah. He didn't even get it. He didn't even, he didn't even, uh, discharge gas yeah, or anything. He did, shit. I didn't like that. Right. <laughs> well, we got him. We got him. We got him. That got out of control fast as hell. He was just gone. Yeah, yeah. like you were, you were like right there on him too. Did you just not like engage him? Or I was that? hitting him. He was like, he jumped away. He was like yeah. on fire. <laughs> he was like, I did a lot of damage to like, I did like 2,000 damage each hit. So I don't know why he just like. Yo, dude, what's up? I played with you the other day. Hey, Mahama. That's what, buddy. How you doing? Oh, I was like, I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I finally got it back up. Okay, um, yeah, start killing him. Uh, Mahama, did you get the, the stuff from the update? You can be a uh, rider now. You have a yeah, you have a ride in skin. And you get a uh, pilot Rex, and you can fight geckos. Bunch of new shit. I'm ending it right now. There's Iris out here. I'm calling in ammo because we're good to go. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, oh, yeah. yeah. They should give you the ammo you brought in back when you pick up that resupply. Like all of it? Yeah, all of it. That would be nice. Maybe like one magazine. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Like, like, oh, I have one magazine back. <laughs> oh, fuck. Can't get jiggy with this. You know about, uh... You can like empty all your ammo. 
that way you get all your ammo back. Um, and it doesn't help you out, but um, if I was already full on something and you weren't and had the same kind of ammo, then mm -hmm. you get ammo from me. And yeah. I put it back. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. But I've like never actually played with anyone who is that hardcore enough to actually care that much. Oh man, <laughs> uh, I used to play. You had all your ammo. They used to be my buddy, uh, Kawaii Desene. He would um, come into the match, right, and put all of his. He would put everything he has into storage, so we would all pick it up, and he would leave, <laughs> and then come back again. And he would, he would, he would just shut down the application oh. and come back, and he would have all of his gear back. But we oh would have the gosh. gear he left behind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how it Yeah. Alright, I'm ready. Yeah, Mahama, I'm, uh, I'm live streaming if you want to see what the updates look like. We're on the last wave. I want to do it. See if I can get him pointed the right way this time. Yeah, it's a different song, so I'm thinking it'll be pointed a different way. Ah! Oh, no it's pointed out that way. I can still get him. I think I can. Oh no, look, I can point him the right way. How do you move? Okay. Oh, three. Yeah, I think it's only like the like, like, yeah, yeah. like, like the. Yeah, you gotta go in the first person. You can get a first person him. And then just turn the head. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but you never get to use them. Yeah. yeah, four, four got it. four. I think was a complete experience for Metal Gear. But then again, you're playing as like I liked Old Snake. Yeah. I liked Old Snake. I think Metal Gear Solid Four was a better game than uh, Phantom Pain. Good yeah. Like the, the music. That game is so good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Old Snake. Well, I think I, I think was, was going to be my last, last one. one. Yeah, oh, cool. There's no old snake outfit yet, but there for sure will be. Well, I'll be 
going, Steve? Yeah, I'll, I'll still go. Uh, my Hama's coming in, I think. Yeah, you can yeah, have you my Hama. Okay, sweet, sweet. That's the right. I had to see if I can too, because greed takes fucking forever at the crafting station. I had to pay you there. That was just, just because, because I, had I had all those cases. cases. <laughs> I had to see if my you wife was like, calling. Out of time, man. What? How does that? How does that? No, no. Well, when you, you buy them, you, you have to, have to have click it, go or click yes, 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 and then no, okay again. Yeah, no, I just did that too. I just did that. No, you mean? Fucking, I got, I had a little bit of a scare here. Uh, someone was calling my phone. I'm, I swear, I'm waiting for the time where my, my wife's water breaks while she's at work. Fuck it, is. She's. You gotta leave. Oh, okay. wait. Oh. How was he the host? Who was the host? Oh, was I the host? Who was the host? Well, well, I, I guess, guess I'll catch you guys later. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Two Lone Swordsman was host? Apparently. This doesn't make sense because I'm pretty sure I invited him. That's strange. Right? Alright, I'll join you. Hey, uh, Mahama, you coming in? Yes, sir. Alright, uh, join under Greed. I'm joining under him. Yeah, I can't invite you, but you'll be able to join in a second. Whoa! This guy has a fucking jetpack! Man, a guy made an Iron Man suit. It's a uh, Gravity Insider. The publication, Iron Man dude. The fuck, yeah. It's a fucking. It's not like how it looks like an oh, Iron Man, but it's a. Oh, dude, have you ever seen someone made like a 3D printed um, ninja mask, like the fucking Gray Fox ninja? Yeah. No, and no, dude. Has, the like, dude it has like a light, and it actually opens up and shit. The dude's able to fly through a fucking metropolitan area with this That's suit. Pretty, I mean, a jetpack is pretty cool. I, I will admit that it's hard to beat. Oh yeah, no. Oh God, I got yeah. Yeah. Dude, if I owned one of those things, I would just show up at, like, one of those, like, uh, mm -hmm. Trump protests. And just, like, flying and just start kicking everyone. <laughs> just showing up and, like, Mario stomping people. <laughs> like, Hey, I won't even. Eat, yeah, I won't even. I wouldn't. Like to see. <laughs> it wouldn't matter who's like who I stop by. Like I wouldn't be picking sides either. I would just be, <laughs> just be landing on anyone. Stopping my guess with Mario. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you gotta see this fucking. He's landing on top of planes with this thing. This thing looks fucking cool. Yeah, it's Gravity Insider is the name of the publication that has this thing. This thing looks fucking cool. Inventions Insider. Yes. Okay. Let's see what we can see. Hey, uh, where's Nahama? Yeah, oh, look at it. it. You saw it. Look up there. Look at look up at uh at my name. Good. Is it a nameplate? Yeah. Do you need help uh, fighting a boss creature? There's several boss creatures now. It's uh, Big Mouth and uh, two geckos. How do you get the geckos? 
with this big ass hammer. Um, <laughs> yeah. Right now, you've got a hammer boost, or you can use like an, uh, something armor piercing and like shoot them in the yeah. spot. And um, you're gonna have to bring some serum with you because the the geckos release a noxious gas. Yeah. Yeah. I thought, when I first thought that saw the spiders, I thought like one bite from them would give you a, a sickness. Someone told me once that like the spiders can hurt you, but I've never seen it happen. It happened to me once, it was during the, um, the, the, when you go inside, yeah, you went inside the medical building, you had to fight a bunch of them. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, and there's like a hundred of them. Yeah, a hundred of them need to bite you for you to get sick. That's kind of stupid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's kind of yeah. stupid. <laughs> like, I, I, you think one would be? One, yeah, that's, 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 it would happen if not. Sorry. But uh, you would think one would do it, and you would think um, I think there should be like a act like if you get poisoned, you guys should be moving like he's fatigued or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it kills you pretty quick. The severely poisoned kills you really quick. Yeah. Oh yeah. The other one does not, but it'll kill you fast. Yeah. Oh, Muhammad, check this one out. Look at this. Uh, Guns of the Patriots. And you got this one, too. This is the new one. Yeah. <laughs> Mikey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Drebin. <laughs> the Drebinator. <laughs> Drebin was kind of weird. Yeah. I don't like yeah. a lot, but Drebin was kind of weird. I don't think they did him right. Frank Frank Redden. Redden. <laughs> <laughs> the monkey was the, the best part about the other though. <laughs> the monkey in the soda. Mm-hmm. Like, bring me your guns. <laughs> the way he talked was like, that's not like how an, a natural person talks. <laughs> yeah, I think that was the problem with him. I think it was because Hideo Kojima never talked to a black person before. That's why he made him sound, <laughs> That's why he made him sound like that. You're white hair. looks weird. This is a weird dude. This is a weird dude. Weird dude. But the monkey's kind of safe. Yeah. Okay, here, here we, we go. go. Uh-oh. Oh, Muhammad lagged out. Uh, oh, it says that he builds it. Yeah, it'll, it'll kick you eventually. Yeah. Just shut down application uh, and rejoin. Just close if you want to save time, and then we'll invite you and you can get right back in. Yeah. Yeah, just send him in right to see. I think uh, Muhammad has it offline for me. Oh wait, I, I see him over there. Is, is it still loading in for you? Wait, so you know in? I oh, see him. Oh wait, he yeah. disappeared. No, no we're there. Uh oh. Just join into uh, just join into uh, I guess party chat, Muhammad. I read, I read them uh, all uh, 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 a couple, couple days, days ago that, that uh, they, they are, uh, that uh, Trump, Trump is uh, trying, trying to uh, revoke the, 
Environmental Protection Act for both animals and the environment. Fuck them. Yeah. And they had apparently had a the Congress, uh, some, some, uh, most, most of the Congress, Congress with him on, on this, this uh, so, so, I mean, mm. is it, is it, is it is the, the Congress, Congress or the Senate that, that, that the governs, uh, uh, Well, America, really, the, the Senate's supposed to, the Congress is made up of, um, members of Senate, but the Congress is when they all come together. Like that's oh, what the, okay. the building is. It's like this the name of the institution, but it's frequented by lobbyists, senates, yeah. judiciaries, Supreme Court judges. Uh -huh. okay, okay, so, so the Senate, Senate is, is uh, assembled, assembled of the, the Yeah. The Congress, the Congress is assembled of, of the Senate. Senate. Yeah. And also okay. uh, but the thing is but, but the thing that if you can, if you can, can the Senate, Senate if they, they yeah. Like, like feel like, like the, the, that's uh, uh, what, what he's planning or what, what is uh, well, totally uh, wrong. Can, can they stop him? him? They can, but it, the the way Trump has been managing, he's been managing like a um, like a company, like a business. His his main yeah. function is to 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 make uh, the economy stronger. So he's been he's been legislating a lot as 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 a businessman would. It's it's mostly dealing with. Um, yeah. Tariffs. Yeah. Things like like it's it's business, yeah. It's tariffs. It's um, tax cuts for businesses. It's uh, it's it's moving um, factories and yeah. uh, things from overseas back to America, pr producing in America now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's the only way so America. That's, yeah, that's the only way America can have any legitimacy in the world is if we produce things. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, if uh, any, any country, country who can yeah. produce their own, own uh, it's, it's more sufficient than uh, yeah. America doesn't have a uh, royalty backed by it. America's backed by um, the military and oil and the petrodollar. That's the only thing that that legitimizes our country in the world stage. If we don't have that, then we will we would quickly that, go to a third world. Quickly, third world. America be a yeah. third world country. Yeah, yeah, because, because you, you have, have based, based your, your economy, economy on oil, oil. and then mm -hmm. that's... Oil. Uh, oil, but then we use the oil production to, um... to magnify our military strength. So, we, we use the oil, we got the money, and then we opened up military bases all over the world. And, uh, got our navy in every sea, in every ocean. Yeah. <laughs> We, it was con we we went we went, went it's not not so much conquering but the fact that it's like a uh, it's almost like a threat on the global stage where you know America can show up anywhere at any given time and bomb the shit out of a place. <laughs> yeah. 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 That, that goes. Yeah, yeah that that guy, that goes for a lot. Okay. okay. Hmm. Mal. Mal. What's going on there? Left. Left. Uh, Mahama, 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 are you downloading something? No, no. Do you have any, um, uh, like iPads or phones on? Let me see it. Anything on the bandwidth? Might be causing it. You know, cause you know what? Cause you know what America just did? Which is a big deal? They put tariffs on China, so that means there's like a uh, shipping embargo on China. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch coming in angle stay there. Yeah. What the hell did he hit me with? 
<laughs> fucking Big Mouth just killed me just right while he was eating his arm. Strange. Yeah, he just died. He was eating his arm and something hit me. I I put, I put 
we got some over here. This connection might be just off. Yeah, he still still has presence on the map, so I don't want to be too worried. Yeah, I can't see him. Yeah. Back up. So. I'm sending this to him so he knows uh because I think he wants to see the gecko. Just tap over to game chat and tell him that I'll hear it. Alright. Uh Mahama, come over to me if you want to see the gecko. Uh, He'll be spawning over here. Be careful, this one is, uh, he's gonna be releasing a type of, like, noxious gas. He'll squat down, he squats down before he does it. Just be, uh, be wary of that. If he squats down in front of you, he's gonna try to gas you. Yeah. yeah. He pecks his gas. gas. <laughs> nasty, nasty, stinky guy. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, I'm really happy about that too, because not only did they put a gecko in, they put fucking two different types of geckos in. Oh yeah. I, I wonder, wonder if they have... have a, I think that... Yeah. Yeah. I don't... I don't, I don't remember, remember if there are only two different geckos in the... No, it's just the, the one poison. in the... Four. I would like to see a poisonous uh, wanderer. <laughs> now, now they got poison stuff. I, mean, I think that would be cool. Poison yeah, there should be like hordes of... Of crawlers like there are in that one basin. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and like the 1964 event is the only time crawlers spawn from like regular teleporters. Like, yeah, there's only like yeah. Five, six of them. They could have totally made them more threatening if they if they actually were as poisonous as like how, how they look. They look poisonous. I know they could be poisonous, right? Um, and also, but they can they can climb fences really easily. So. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're act they're actually really difficult. So if they yeah. threw them in more, it'd make it a lot more challenging. Yeah. They jump. Uh, I don't understand why they. Yeah. Like, they'd be jumping. They, it'd be cool if they jump and like latched onto you, and you had to like uh like punch them or like shake them off. Yeah, that would be sweet. That's like Resident Evil style. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. I think the only thing the game's missing is you never see the wanderers. You never see a creature actually tear someone apart. I think that I think you need to see that to understand the danger in, involved with them. Where the hell did it go? Oh shit! It went over to you. See, that's the gas. Oh, watch out! There we go. Got him. Oh wait, he shot it. <laughs> Tracker. Yeah. Oh, that guy hit me. We need to, uh, someone needs to go back to base. Uh, clear out the dude. 
from the bridge. The elemental is from the bridge. Oh, no. I'm, 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 I'm on. I almost got him dead. Oh shit, he just... Shit, he's ditching me. He's ditching me. Yeah, he's ditching me. He's following you guys. Fucking shit. He's following you. Alright, I got him dead. Holy shit, he was trying to run away again. Yeah, yeah he's, he's they, they are tough. tough. He ignored me. No, he, he ignored me and started heading for you guys towards the digger. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they are they attracted, attracted to, to, the, to the... Start killing until we get two bonds. Mm. Kill, kill, kill. They cover I'm too much the distance. They cover, they cover way too much distance. Too quickly. Let's uh, introduce some freedom. Freedom from their uh, mortal shell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cooling cool him off. <laughs> Wow, that was quick. Yep. yep. No. no Limited time no, offer. Right. <laughs> Limited time offer noise. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How does that sound? Uh, no, that comes with the S rank. Everywhere. everywhere. Outside, Outside the base. base. Yeah. Um, yeah, just put up fences all over the place. But try to keep the pathway open, don't block out pathways. If you can avoid it. Because mm. we'll need to like get back outside to kill shit. We can use the we can use the stairs here, right? Yeah. Yeah, use the but stairs. You don't want you want more than one way. <laughs> yeah. Use the stairs and the ramp should be good, there. right? Stairs and ramp should be uh No, you need more than one way in and out of the base, dude. What if we need to get over here? Should reach it from the ramp. I mean, right. I just keep crafting and throwing down fences, especially outside. Just crap them up. Cop it up. I'm on my way. way. Oh, fuck, I can't even get out of here. There we go. Did everyone grab their ammo? There's ammo resupply out. Yeah, yeah I, grabbed I grabbed it. it. All right, I'm ready. Then just keep killing. We need another 20k to get Colin and Rex, and then whoever wants to get Colin and Rex. I wish we were able to handle that pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah I, I think, think so, so too. <coughs> <coughs>
Nope. Nope. This is the the Two final. If we like should fail and lose the bigger, we will get an S. But if we survive, we get an S plus. We get more goodies. Yeah. yeah. So those are the gunners, Muhammad, that you're dealing with. I don't know if you dealt with those guys yet. Okay. Their armor doesn't hold up too well to melee attacks. I know. On my way. I know, bro. Here comes Rex. It does like you saw all the guys in the mirror on those. Do your thing, my friend. Do your thing. Do your thing. Yeah, but those missiles, man, that's what it's at. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mega, Mega damage. damage. <laughs> a lot. A, he does a lot better than Ray. Yeah. 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 A lot. Like a million, million times better than Ray. Ray, Ray has fired three times. Also. Yeah. <laughs> fired three times. He makes a little Godzilla Godzilla yell. Yeah. yeah. Uh, something. Something's hitting main. What is that? It's the uh, gunner. Let me see if I can find Okay, I see the gunner. Going after him now. Okay, he's down. Where's the other one? Other one's over here. Going after him. Somebody did. I did. I did. I did. I did. Broken scrap, scrap mask, broken, broken ATU to head gear. Yes. Not the good stuff. Alright, what time was it? Oh yeah, I gotta pick the wifey up. I'll be back on later. Yeah, I can't.